Hey, Hutch. This is Joe Plummer. Hi, Joe Plummer. How you doing? Okay. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing okay. Yeah. I called you yeah. a couple times before, and it kind of, I don't know why I hung up. But uh, I was just hoping to maybe get a tour story from you if you're free. We talked about it a couple months ago. Um, yeah, I mean, I was hoping to not do it, uh, why? if that's uh, still an option. You've got one. Why Why wouldn't you? You seemed interested, or were you? I mean, I, I work I work hard to appear interested, but, uh, you know, truth is a little different. Okay. Uh, you sure? I mean, I got time right now. Are you busy? Um, no, no, I'm not busy. I just want to do it. Okay. Are you sure? I mean, we can, I can maybe try to jog your memory or, or maybe when I come down to Portland, we can meet in person. How's that? That sounds great. I mean, for now, I'll say that sounds great. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. I'm going to make a trip down to Portland as soon as I can. Okay. That sounds great, Joe. Later, dude. Later. Hey! Hutch Harris is a musician and songwriter from Portland, Oregon. He's best known as the singer and guitarist for the band The Thermals. In this episode, Hutch tells us how he both ran from a tornado and wrote a song in the back of a moving van, all the while extremely stoned on a high dose of edibles. From Ruinous Media, this is Tour Stories. So it was uh, summer of 2016, and I was on tour with the Thermals, and we were heading to the last show on tour. And uh, this is actually, this would end up being the last time the Thermals ever toured. We played a couple shows after this in the Northwest, but it was the last show on the last tour. We played in Omaha the night before, and we're driving to Denver. A friend of mine in Omaha had given me some gummy weed edibles at the show. The drive from Omaha to Denver is about eight hours. Uh, So I thought, I might as well eat some edibles. Got the time. Going to be in the van all day. And I wanted to make sure that I didn't have them when uh, we were going to be driving through Utah the next day. Weed was legal in Colorado already, but not in Utah. (laughs) Uh, So I take one of the weed gummies out. They're kind of like, you know, they're like the size of a quarter Um, I think they tell you to, like, break it up into, like, six little triangles. And I had only eaten an edible once before in my life, a couple years earlier on tour, when Colleen Green gave me a chocolate bar. And that night, I had eaten way too much. I ate, like, half the bar, despite Colleen advising me to only take a bite or two. And that night, I thought I was going to die in my hotel room. I was just like sick on the bed line. I couldn't even move. Um, I, I, I couldn't believe, you know, I was thinking I'm going to die here on this bed in this hotel room and I can't believe weed is going to be what kills me. Edibles, I, I don't know the science behind it, but I know you usually end up taking too much. I know I <laughs> yes. usually end up taking too much, and the thing kind of happens where you eat some, and then it takes a while for you to start feeling the effects, and sometimes it's like a couple hours has gone by, and you're like, I don't feel anything. So you have the great idea of, well, I should probably take another dose and it's usually when you take that second one that the first dose starts kicking in. <laughs> and you realize you really, <laughs> really didn't need that second dose. So I take, I eat, I eat a second gummy, and then very quickly I start feeling like really fucked up from the first one. It's at that same time that we all start getting uh, like alerts on our phones that we're in the path of a tornado. So we're not, no one's freaking out just yet. You know, a lot of times you get alerts like this on your phone all the time and it doesn't turn out to be anything. 
and everyone in the band, you know, everyone else is calm. You know, we have a driver. He starts like checking out other routes that we could take. But I'm like sitting in the back, you know, and I'm just getting fucking lit. <laughs> We're probably like halfway between Omaha and Colorado. So, you know, we've been driving for like four or five hours. It's around then that the weed paranoia kicks in. Where I think if I wouldn't have been on edibles, I'd be like, well, this is fine. You know, there's a tornado out there, but it's not going to come scoop us up and smash us to the ground. You know, we'll be fine. But with these edibles kicking in, I'm like, oh, God, we're going to drive right into the eye of the storm. This tornado's going to scoop us up and smash us into a million pieces. This is, it, it's okay. Everyone's like, oh, it's going to be fine. You know, this is a mild storm that's happening. Uh, and so we start looking on Twitter and see people are posting like videos and photos of this tornado and it is massive. Like it just looks insane. Like it looks like something like out of like a Bugs Bunny cartoon. You know, I, I think I'm playing it cool. I don't know if I am, but like in my head, I'm just like tripping. I'm like, this thing is going to kill us. Uh, I've had a lot of experiences on tour where you think, oh, you know, we might die. Uh, but now, really, and, and it's, you know, it's like it's like a cop movie where you're like, have you know, you got two weeks till your retirement and you're going to get killed like your last day on the force. So I was like, I can't believe right. this is like, this is like the last show of the tour. If we can just make it through this, we'll be fine. But I kind of think we're going to die. So I, you know, I have my guitar, so I'm just like, uh. I'm just gonna write a song, you know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna focus on the song. I'm gonna make this awesome, crazy, scary song that's uh, you know that's gonna be about us all getting killed uh, by a tornado on tour. So you know, I'm just sitting in the back playing guitar, writing what I think is just this amazing riff. Meanwhile, you know, the driver he's like keeps changing highways. We try to get on smaller roads, try to take like these different routes to get to Denver and I swear like every time we would go a different direction it would be like the tornado is following us like everywhere we went we would just have to keep turning around this is for like two or three hours just heading on all these small little roads different you know going through these tiny towns stopping in these little tiny towns and just like hanging out like in a gas station while it's just like pouring and just like it was crazy crazy weather and I'm you know the whole time I'm like melting inside (laughs) like I can't believe I'm like, I know this is probably going to be okay, but inside I am just like dying already. Just get us, if we can just get to Denver. So, you know, finally we don't get swallowed up by a tornado. We do make it to Denver. It took us maybe like 10 or 11 hours. Uh, You know, we got there just in time. We load and play and of course like the show is great like i feel like any time on tour when you've had an experience like that part of it is you're just so glad that you made it there um and that everyone's all right you have an awesome show and i remember one of the dudes in the support band was like you guys risked your life to make it to this show and it was totally worth it and i was like "Mm, the show was awesome but (laughs) it's not worth it After that, I was thinking, you know, you risk your life so many times just to play a show. I don't think it's worth it. The best part is the next day I listened to a phone recording of the song I had been working on in the van, like the awesome, like, scary tornado song that was going to be just so great. And it was a song I had already written. It was Here's Your Future. No. Which is a great song, but I, I, I just, I was so high. I was just writing something I had already written. Like, I didn't even get a good song out of it. Thanks to Hutch for the story. Go to ruinousmedia.com to hear more stories from the road. And don't forget to check out our weekly companion podcast, The Check-In. All at ruinousmedia.com slash to a story. God reached his hand down from the sky. He blooded the lamb and he set it afire. He said, fear me again. No, I'm your father. Remember that no one can breathe underwater. So bend your knees. God!
here's your future. So here's your future.